it was very important to have something that you were really good at. So right. the heading part uh, was was uh, was important to me. I'm I'm uh, originally from Suriname, a small country in South America, um, and uh, I grew up there playing for a team called Transvaal, Bears Transvaal. Uh, very proud because my youth uh, years were there. I played also for the uh, the national team. Uh, was captain of the under 19 and under 23. And um, then I moved to the United States to play for uh, University of San Francisco. And um, had, we had uh, four successful years. Two were national championships. And then uh, I uh, stayed in the Bay Area. I had about... Uh, uh, 16 years uh, experience in um, the technology uh, area. And then after that, I uh, became a coach and I uh, became a director for 15 to 17 years. And mm -hmm. what, is a, what is a good header? Yeah, and what is a clinical header? What's the definition of, of the two? Um, for me, a good header is, is one that you score, that goes in the goal, a clinical header is one where you freeze the goalie. The goalie mm -hmm. doesn't have a chance. To, it's just like a good free kick and a quality free kick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A good free kick right. is, okay, the goalie sees it, doesn't get there. Is, right. or, or is late. A clinical one, he's frozen. Right. Yeah? Right. And right. so if you really want to do a header, then you have to think about heading with quality and precision. So... Part of the heading is, um, you know, as a, as a kid, you, you, you learn and you see it. And then what I always did is, look, if I have a ball and I have a perfect cross, can I, can I know where to head the ball? And what we did is we would put uh, bottles, little Coca-Cola bottles, and then we would take a ball and then head it and try to hit the, hit the Coca-Cola bottle and just play with it. And so it's just in a small, small area and we would play with it and then head it. And then you can see, hey, now you ha this guy has technique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a practice, you can put my Coca-Cola bottles. This is a, uh, and you, you can put them on a line here and you get the crosses in and see how many times you can actually hit them off the line. Right. So that is an exercise. Yeah, you can put a dollar on it and make some money and uh, <laughs> do that. Yeah, so w you whip some and you become better at finding it. Obviously, the holy grail is hitting the line and have, having it hit the side net. Yeah, right. That would be yeah. the best. Now, after a while, after you get good and you get comfortable with that, the next one would be to have the, the goal, yeah, the goalie. Yeah, and, and uh, the number nine with crosses coming in and heading the ball in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you now have to make make your make sure the crosses are good, and the second is that the 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 headers are with quality. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that is that is your second thing. Um, now after that, yeah, the next. The next one, the next exercise would be to let's say you have a, a defender. This is already, this is working on the timing. Mm -hmm. So if you work on the timing for this, the, the, the best situation for you to be in control, if you're here, he can be in control. Right. If you're on the side, you're in control because you can go this way or you can go in front. So you create space for yourself by taking him away. Yeah, and then the headers come. You start with a passive number four. Yeah, yeah. defender. Therefore, you can work on your timing runs. Yeah, you may fake this way, fake this way, and go in here and head it in. Yeah. Yeah, or you fake this way and know that's a, a, a Beckham cross. Right. Yeah, and you go all the way here and you head it here and then find it. Yeah. Yeah. So those are some of the things. Now, what you can then do, if you want this to be an active one, you bring another player in, 
Now you are 2v1 and you can right. play together with each other and say, okay, you go here, I go here. And this guy is now fully activated. You, you want to do it on a regular basis. And, and I would say once a week. And once a week, uh, when you do it, uh, you do it as part of not the repetition as much, yeah, but the technique. And you mm. use different, depends on the which, uh, which uh, age group. Right. Yeah. But it is, it is a good thing to do it once a week. That way you train that. And if you do it with the younger ones, you can, you can make it fun. Yeah. yeah. And have fun games. And we, as uh, uh, you know, Coach Better can actually uh, put some exercises there and I can give you some links so that they can take a look at that and uh, have those exercises for different age groups. Well, I, I would like to take two of the best players in the world and show that they actually have uh, situations where this is a... a, a, a Cristiano Ronaldo, who has an incredible leap. He has an incredible leap, and you can see him go in the air, and it's getting to his the forehead. He heads right. it to his forehead. So that, that shows, and no, look at where the ball goes. He is up, he never closes his eyes, always looks at the ball, and then gets the ball on his forehead, and guess where it goes? Side net. Yeah, it's very, very hard to, to, to get as a goalie. Yeah, uh, and then I have another one here from Messi, and he's not the tallest guy. Yeah, yeah. but if you take a look at where he gets the ball and, and heads it, it's in the corner in the side net. Yeah, and so Messi has scored a lot of goals with his head, uh, and he's not the tallest guy. So have others in, in history, yeah, that were not the tallest. Urs Sailor was not the tallest, but scored a lot of goals with his head. Three main things. One is technique. Technique with the forehead and timing, timing of when you head the ball and where to head it. Second, t, uh, second is, is the aim. Where, where do you head it? I say on the line or in the corner. And if you hit them both, that's the best. Mm -hmm. And three is uh, protection. Yeah. Protection is very important because this is the area you, you have only one head, you're, you don't want to get injured. You want to prevent right. getting the first injury. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, and even if you get injured by, by having somebody on here, it's, it's lesser of an injury because you're protecting yourself. So those are the three right. things that I would say are very, very important. And even though uh, the rules are saying that you can't uh, start at, heading the ball in a game at 11 I think the training has to be done very early the technical training has to be done early so that the technical uh, abilities are there so that when we activate the player that they can actually uh, take that into account and start heading the ball with, with the proper techniques and the proper protection mm -hmm. If you want to become a soccer coach, you got to do it with, with your heart. Uh, and you want to also spend time in learning uh, all the details, uh, details of, of that, you, that, uh, that will help you get, be, become a better coach. Like Coach Better, you want to start, like every player wants to get better in every session. You as a coach, you want to get better at the art of the details and the art of teaching the details. So that, that would be my biggest uh, uh, advice, is to, to learn how to, uh, how to become a better coach at, at learning the details of coaching, either as an individual, the technical part, but also the tactical part. Yeah.